Number eight, it asks us to find the zero of the quadratic equation and it is already in intercept form. What it means for it to be finding the zeros right here, it's actually when y is zero. So we just make this equal to zero. So when is x minus one times x plus three equals to zero, this should remind you of the zero product property that this is when x minus one is equal to zero and this is when x plus three equals to zero. Now we can just solve plus one to both sides, this cancels, getting you x is equal to one, minus three of both sides, this cancels, leaving you with x is equal to negative three. This is your first solution, this is your second solution. This would be your solution, this would also be your zeros, and this would also be your roots. All three of those things are the same. B, we set it equal to zero, and that is how we find the zeros of the function. You have negative two equals to zero, x minus two equals to zero, x minus five equals to zero. x minus two can never become zero. Let's do x minus two equals to zero. We add two to both sides, this cancel, x is equal to two. X minus five, we add five to both sides. The left side does cancel, leaving you with X is equal to five. Your two solutions are X equals to two and X is equal to five. C, to find a zero, we have to set it equal to zero first. We have X minus six equal to zero and X minus one equals to zero. We can add six to both sides. This does cancel, leaving you with X is equal to six. For the minus one, we add one to both sides. The left side cancels. We now get X is equal to one. X is equal to six and X equals to one would be the final solutions, roots or zeros. There you go. That is how you find the zeros of the quadratic function.